Welcome back to Library Fashion and Style. So in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful print that you see on this dress. So on this channel now, we're going to be teaching you some DIY from time to time so that we can learn as we share these styles amongst ourselves. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so these fabric stickers comes in different shapes and sizes as you can see this is for smaller sizes like children and it comes in several designs as well. So what you just need to do is to choose the design that you want to use for a particular project. So this is what I'm going to be using for this project and I'm going to be applying it on this paper. So to do this now I'm just going to mark out where I want this to be. I have done this you can see my chalk marking here and then I'm just going to place the sticker like this on it. So after placing my sticker, I'm just going to look for a plain paper so that I don't place directly on my sticker. Then after placing my plain paper on it, I'm going to apply my heat. So for the heat, you can use your hot iron. So when you are using hot iron, you have to be very careful. You're not going to move it around. You're just going to place it at intervals. Once you know it's hot, you move it to the next part. So you place your iron at interval. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with a heat transfer machine. So now let's go and stick this to our fabric. So I'm on the transfer machine now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure to set my machine. I'm setting it to 140 as you can see. This is the control button here. So you just need to press it up and down to whatever temperature that you want. And then for the time, I'm setting it to 12 seconds. So you can also set it according to whatever it is that you want. So now this is my fabric. What I'm going to do now is to first iron the surface that I'm placing this on. So I'm just going to press down the machine and then I'm going to iron it for like eight seconds or thereabouts so once i open it up and i see that the surface is neat now i'm going to bring in my sticker so just like i explained i have my marking here i'm just going to place my my sticker where exactly i want it to be then after placing it on that part now i'm going to place my paper on it and then i'm going to apply my heat transfer and then i'll wait for my 12 minutes to elapse so i'm using this heat transfer machine because i have it if you don't have this machine your iron is going to do exactly what you need so my 12 seconds have elapsed So now, once it's allowed, I'm going to remove my paper and then you allow it to cool down. You don't remove it immediately, so you leave it to cool down. When you are removing it, you remove it in bits. If you notice that it is not, it has not transferred, it means it has not yet, um, the heat is not enough. So you just apply more heat on it. So now, but now it is still very hot. I'm not going to remove it. So like I was saying, I'm using this machine because I have it. So if you don't have it, your iron is going to do exact same thing that this heat transfer is doing. So just like we applied this heat press on it, you are going to place your iron at intervals. But the reason why I like this is because it has a bigger surface as you can see, and then it's just going to take everything for you all at once so while we wait for this to cool down to remove it i'm going to continue when it is cool enough to remove so it has cooled down a bit now i'm just going to try to open it in bits so you can see i'm opening it so if you feel that any parts have not transferred you just place it back and then you reheat it so now you open it gently okay you open it gently and then you do this in bits so you can see I, I am opening this and once it is heated properly it's just going to transfer to your fabric so now after transferring it to your fabric now i'm just going to place the heat transfer on it again directly now so that it can but it's not too hot my machine is not too hot now so i'm just going to place it directly on it again so that it can help it stick better okay so now i have reheated and you can see it has been transferred to my fabric eh? you can see what we have here so it is here now and then it's permanent so this is how you transfer your fabric stickers to your fabric so in case you need any of these stickers we have them for sale in both wholesale and retail you can contact me on instagram at libraries so that you can let us know the one we should make for you
Okay, so I have gone ahead to make my beautiful dress using the print that we have just learned. You can see how beautiful it is on the dress that we have made. I hope you learned one or two things from this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.